right, take a look at this. This is Hurricane Earl uh, making its way to the eastern coast of the United States. It looks like it's going to be a massive storm, but you know what? We're watching Hurricane Earl, but we're watching, also watching now for your wallets. Disasters are the perfect storm for scammers who trick you out of your hard-earned money. We're going to welcome back our weekly Corrupt Cats. Box. Wow, look at that. Corrupt Cats. <laughs> Leah, uh, analyst uh, Kimberly Guilfoyle, Lise Wheel, and civil attorney Vicki Ziegler in for Rebecca Rose Woodland this week. I'm going to start with you, Kim. Scams on the heels of a hurricane. How much, how much lower can people be? Uh, pretty low. If you recall back from Katrina five years ago, all the scams were coming up. People saying, I'm going to help you get money for your insurance, et cetera. And they were just like running away with the money all the way to the bank. And so they're doing an advisory here. The attorney general is saying, let us know. Call our office if somebody's trying to scam you out of your cash. Be very careful in terms of Hurricane Earl, who you're going to give your money to, any kind of causes or if you have need repairs afterwards, that type of thing, do your research. What do you think, what, what should we look out for, Elise? Oh, well, for, let me just finish up with Katrina here for just a second. Right. One guy in Alabama was just sentenced to 60 years in prison. 60 for, yes, for years, this five years later. Yes, yes, five, it took doing? five years. He was doing exactly what Kimberly said. He was going to people that were bereaved, basically. They just lost their home or, or close to it, and saying, come here, come to me, I'll, I'll take your money, and I'll take, and he would laugh all the way to the bank. There was an elderly couple that couldn't even go to testify at his trial because they were so frail, but they said, you know, they, you just took our everything from us, but our what trust. What was he doing? Was he, he promising he repairs? Promising repairs, taking the money, which is coming back to what you said, one of the things you don't do mm -hmm. is you do not hand a penny over until you have gotten, you've gotten estimates, you've gotten at least three estimates, you've gotten references, right. you know, you don't, anybody that do comes research. to your home, anyone that actually comes to your home and solicits, beware. V Vicky, yeah. are, are the penalties more harsh when, when you're dealing with disasters like this? People are kind of on their heels. Mm -hmm. Are yeah. hurting, so so do do jury awards uh, become bigger? They, I guess uh, these aren't even jury trials, are they? No, well, it depends if they're criminal or civil. I mean, it really depends on what actually people are getting charged with in the terms of fraud. So there are misdemeanor crimes, and there are going to be felonies. So certainly, and I think across the board, uh, people should be prosecuting these cases. And Kimberly can speak to that as a former prosecutor. I mean, really, they should be penalized. And 60 years right. to be incarcerated is a big deal. Well, those are, that's an aggravating circumstance in this case mm -hmm. for the Alabama guy. Yep. The fact that it was coming right on the heels of right. a major disaster was an aggravating circumstance in sentencing and I agree with you it and should be it right. absolutely should be, well, there's, there's should there's be. Price well, gouging also and that's another right. offense and that happens 30 Fraud. days right 30 days before a natural disaster occurs you can add on penalties how right. do you decide if it's going to go civil or criminal well, it depends if it's some kind of fraudulent transaction, like someone establishes, you know, a phony charity and they try and solicit funds. Don't you care about the children that have no homes and they show you pictures and you give the money? Well, that is going to be a criminal action. And then, of course, if you have someone that didn't do the work that was promised, you can also file a civil claim against them, but usually they're difficult well, to find Well, the other thing to, do, to know as well is that a it can be both criminal and civil. Yeah. In other words, Not somebody can exclusive. convicted right. for criminal and, it can derive and a, then a, go, you go into a civil, a civil lawsuit. Right. Do, you you guys think, do you think FEMA is going too far? I mean, you know, they've already evacuated some places along the East Coast. They're sending a bunch of emergency workers. Mm -hmm. Have they gone too far? because of what happened five years ago at Katrina? I think it's about precaution at this point. And I think, you know what, an ounce of prevention is better than a uh, pound of cure. And I really think you have yeah. to do that. I have, you have to go an extra distance. And I have to tell you, I was just in New Orleans last week. And to see on the five-year anniversary the devastation that occurred, I actually helped build a home for a woman that's been displaced for the past five years. And to see what these people have gone through, I actually think it's go think? over and over. Still so much what, yes What's to be your done. opinion of FEMA right now? Of FEMA, I mean, look, they're a work in progress, shall we say? <laughs> I mean, they're doing their best. They really took some uh, kicks, and mm -hmm. they should have after the whole Katrina thing. So now they're going to really be extra cautious to make sure mm -hmm. that nothing slips through the cracks and that they won't be accused of not being prepared. Last again. word, Lise. Yeah, and I agree, because if they don't go out now and, and really get out in front of this, they're going to have that egg on their face again? No mm -hmm. way. All right, you guys are just way too <laughs> smart for this show, I think. <laughs> Big thanks to Vicki, Lise, and Kimberly. When we come back, our schools, schools out for one teacher who retired with, get this, $1 million.